So if I were to extremely simplify this and uh, put it in some sort of model, this is in its very simple form one attempt to it. So on the horizontal axis I have the power of society. So these are the norms and ability of society to organize, in particular organize in the way of collective action. This is not about liberty. It could be about liberty or against liberty. So the caste system does involve these very strong norms and it sta uh, stamps out liberty. On the other hand, there are other aspects of the norms that will, as I will talk about, will perhaps potentially contribute to liberty. On the other hand, you have the power of the state, the capacity of the state, which is undoubtedly, and we emphasize this, multidimensional. The judicial capacity, the capacity to provide public goods, but the military capacity, the capacity to, uh, uh, to regulate the economy. But when we are, have a lot of this power and not much of it, that's where we're going to have the despotic leviathan. When we have the power of society very strong, but not much of the power, the capacity of the state, I will argue and try to illustrate why, we're going to have general absence of the leviathan. And that will sometimes correspond to what the things that you saw in Raqqa and Mosul. Sometimes it will correspond to things like the cage of norms, where the norms are strong and rule, but they really restrict the liberty of many groups, especially disadvantaged groups. But in between, squeeze between these two areas, there is this, ge this little sh narrow area generated by these two blades of a scissor, and that's what we call the narrow corridor. And the narrow corridor is where these two opposing forces are somewhat balanced. And in their balance, they're, crying, they're creating a process where over time both the state and society is becoming more powerful, but in a way we will argue that creates more room for liberty. Not guarantee, and there is no guarantee that you will always stay here, so you may spin out of it, but it is very crucially a process. And we'll argue that that process is almost always inside this narrow corridor, and the narrowness emphasizes that it's a precarious balance, and the fact that it's a process emphasizes that it's a very slow thing and you're not going to get liberty or anything approaching liberty immediately and it will be step after step. And those steps are going to involve a race between state and society. 